I got a little experiment. I'm going to try to grow lettuce on the sun porch here. Try growing fall and winter lettuce out in the garden. Just hasn't worked out very well. Uh, grows very slowly. Ends up tasting a little bit bitter. And I think it's not so much temperature as it just doesn't get enough light. It grows too slowly. So we're going to try to grow it on the porch here. Got a, a two by four foot planter. And you're going to augment the light with a LED here. This is a Viper Spectra 130 watt uh, full spectrum light. And to keep the weight down, I'm going to use a soilless mix. This is a Pro Mix. There's the ingredients peat moss, perlite, vermiculite, limestone, wetting agent, and mycorrhizae. So we get maybe six hours of good sunlight here on the porch. And then we'll use the uh, grow light extend out to maybe up to 18 hours a day and see what happens. Here are the plants. This is new hem lettuce from Johnny Seeds. Already been growing about four weeks. They do look a little leggy. We've been growing them out here on the porch and then taking them inside in the evening, put them under a uh, LED table lamp. Uh, actually just got this uh, LED grow light and hope they do a little bit better under that. So the planter, it, it's made out of cedar and it's about a foot deep. It's got uh, fabric on the bottom. There's planks below this with spaces between them. And the fabric is just to keep small particles from falling through the slats. And I've got a layer of, of wood chips as a base here. So I'm just going to go ahead and moisten the pro mix here and uh, fill up the planter. Okay, got them all transplanted. Let's see what they do. Here we are one week. Not much growth yet. You can already tell that the new leaves have a better shape. Not long and spindly like the earlier leaves. So here's what we're using for fertilizer. It's from Gardener Supply and it's just a soluble uh, A1010 formula. And we use a tablespoon of this in a gallon and then a quarter of a cup on each plant every two weeks. And as far as watering, we just give them a good spritzing every two or three days. Try to keep the soil moist. Okay, so here we are at the two week point. It's a really sunny day. Obviously, but we only get maybe six hours of direct sun a day. So we use the uh, grow light in the morning and evening, get about 16 hours of light a day. Getting these nice crinkly leaves. Could even eat some now, but I think we'll wait another week or so. Well, it's two and a half weeks now. The last several days they've really taken off here. Could let them go a little longer, but I think we're going to pick one and try it. Looks pretty good. Still very small heads, but nice and crunchy. We'll have those in the salad tonight. Okay, it's now three weeks, and these are pretty much ready to eat. We've been using one head a day. We have the row cover out here. We cover them at night because it does get a little bit chilly out here. And supposedly with these soilless mixes, you really need to keep a close watch on pH. 
So we're going to take a test here. Just pick an area. Wet it down well. Got a pH strip here. Let it go one minute. And quickly rinse it off. And it looks about exactly pH 6. You wouldn't want to let it go much lower than that. Then I have some additives to uh, put in to either raise or, or lower it. But for now, it looks okay. So here we are at four weeks since transplanting. That's uh, eight weeks total, 56 days, which is the advertised maturity for this variety. And as you can see, this is ready to eat. It's really very nice lettuce, has a nice crunch, very mild flavor, and just way better than the lettuce we used to grow outside this time of year. I've raised the uh, light a little bit. It's about two feet above the bed now. I've, I've done that by doubling up these cables uh, by which it hangs from this ring. And that's giving a much more even distribution of light across the bed. As you can see we've already got a new batch of, of seedlings here. These are growing better uh, under the grow light than, than the first batch. So I think they'll do they'll do even better. Also you'll see down here this plastic I intended to collect drainage from the planter but it turns out this soilless mix is so absorbent that it really doesn't drip at all. So that's got me worried about accumulation of salt in the uh, soil. So what we started to do is collect rainwater. And now we're using that to water the plants. Of course, theoretically, that won't have any salt in it. So I'm anxious to see how this second batch does. But the first batch, uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. Okay, here we are now at five weeks since transplanting. That's nine weeks since planting the seeds. And these are really fully mature now. Obviously, we've been eating them. Let's try this one. And it's pretty nice. No snails, no slugs. No bugs, no grit. At least a dozen or so leaves. Nice and crisp. So as far as cost, there's a significant initial investment in the planter and the grow light. After that, the main expense is the grow mix. This $55 is for a full bale to fill the planter. Probably each time you'd only need to replace maybe a quarter of that, so maybe $15. And then a little bit for the electricity and a trivial amount of fertilizer. Well, here we are six weeks since transplanting. Things are kind of winding down here, harvesting the last few heads. Seems like the ones that got the most light in the middle uh, still did the best, even though these are slightly taller. These are in the middle here. These are much denser. But more leaves. The leaves are more this crunchy, crinkly type that, that tastes the sweetest. But, but these are pretty good too. So I think we can get lettuce all winter now. 
Uh, not quite enough to fulfill all our needs, but uh, about a nice treat just the same. We've got another batch now uh, ready to go in. They've been growing about four weeks, so another couple of weeks we'll have more. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're down to the last head here, and I've just been snipping these off. Maybe I'll pull this one up and just look at the roots. It's, it's really got quite a root system. And I've even, even torn some off. Wow. So that's huge.